This season we're offering a first selection from the Main Tang Collection, um, which covers the Yuan, Ming and Qing dynasties. The Main Tang Collection is no doubt the last grand European collection of Chinese art to come on the market. Most great collections uh, from that particular period, from the mid or early 20th century, have ended up in museums or at auction. The name Mei Yin Tang means Hall Among Rose Beds. It's a collection that has been put together over more than half a century. When I first saw the pieces in the 1990s, um, it was absolutely amazing because this collection had not been seen. It basically, nobody knew it existed at all. And it was a revelation to see this amazing assembly of fine objects. It was very much formed in the style of the famous collections of the early half of the 20th century, like um, uh, Alfred Clark collection or Sir Percival David, Sir Harry Garner, some of the famous collections. The collector had great advisors, mainly Edward T. Chow, Nicholas' grandfather, but um, I think the sign of a great collector is to listen to advice, but not necessarily to follow it, but to follow his own instincts, make his own decisions. And um, this is very much what this collector has done. Uh, in the selection of objects that form the collection, you can see this person's uh, very deep connoisseurship, his rigorous standards, his discipline, and the love for the subject. The great starlot in the cell is the Guiyashuan Falantai vase, which is of the Qianlong period, but very, probably very early in the period. It's a design you find on other pieces in the Palace Museum. Uh, the, this design of pheasants, but never quite uh, executed to that level. I think there's simply no better painting on porcelain altogether. The box we have here that is painted for the Yongzheng Emperor with eight peaches is unique. Um, the design itself is not one that is unique. It's actually a very popular design during the Yongzheng period that you find on dishes of different sizes and bowls. Um, to find it on, on this box is actually quite unusual. Um, no other example is known. Uh, this piece originally came from a very prestigious collection called Van Slyke, and um, it was sold at Sotheby's in New York. Yeah, these two lotus leaves, which are made as desk items for a painter or calligrapher to wipe off the brush, it, it is a pair, but it's not an identical pair. One is purely white, and one has just the slightest hint of color. There's an insect here, and there is a little flower and a few buds um, on one side, but it's very, very subtle. But these are real Mei and Tang objects. Well, this is probably the finest piece of Chenghua porcelain to come on the market in the last 10, 12 years. This is really the sort of object that most collections and most collectors do not have. This type of ball is called a palace ball. It comes with other floral designs, mostly so the composite floral scrolls. Uh, this is a type that is quite well known uh, with melons, and there are about 12 examples all in all existing in uh, museum collections and private collections. There, there are none in the palace collections either in Taiwan or in Beijing and none in mainland China altogether. At Sotheby's we've had the privilege of handling some of the world's greatest collections of porcelain that of Edward Chow, T.Y. Chow, Jim Hu, uh, British Rail Pension Fund and today we're extremely privileged to, to bring the main town collection to the market. I think it's going to be an extraordinary opportunity for collectors around the world to, to be inspired uh, by someone who's collected for over half a century. And it will be a great opportunity for them to acquire uh, some treasures that have not been seen on the market for many, many years.